<laughs> There's different techniques of how to fall. <laughs> That's really cool. I did not know that. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Stuntman React. We are here with the famous and infamous Guy Da Silva. Welcome back, man. Good to have you, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, really? yes. You may remember Guy from the past episodes we've done. He uh, has doubled his Black Panther, so you should go check out Guy's stuff if you have not. Nico and I pulled some sweet clips for you to react to, to give your expertise and opinion on. Let's, let's hop in and take a look. All right, here we go. Just know that this entire shot is one unbroken take. Four minutes long? You'll see things, see some noise, and oh, there you go. And you don't have any setup time, like, really, to do that stuff. You just gotta do it, because it's one unbroken take. Right. Got oh, no. yet. Oh. oh. Oh! Man! Oh, oh man. <laughs> what if he missed? <laughs> what he a 20 did. job. Two he minutes almost did this. miss. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> I oh. love that move. Just kills the guy somehow. <laughs> okay. Japanese guys? Okay. Where, where'd that guy go? There's a crash pad. There's yeah. Definitely. There was box. They, they had that set up. How big? Them. Like, they got like 12 bounce houses down there or like? <laughs> <laughs> definitely five. Because he's, he's on story three. Yeah. He's still falling. Like, he probably goes, ah! They definitely, they, those guys who got beat up who aren't running back a different way to meet him up top mm -hmm. are pulling pads and it's pretty fun. Oh jeez, he just punched that guy in the face. <laughs> just dead guys. Hell yeah, good shot. Where's my elephant? <laughs> That's so cool, man. This is this is very special. The camera's guy in the focus bar is just like, don't screw it up, don't screw it up, keep him in the frame. How like how did he get up there in the time though? Like, well he's Tony Jaw, man. He's like, Tony Jaw. How long does he have? Let's see. Let's count. He's got one, one two, two, three, four. No. How? I think he I think he used you're the right. dresser. You're right, he used the dresser. 100 percent Dude, that's within like three seconds though. Yeah, it's bullshit. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Gee, tell me a little bit more about that throw that almost missed. Yeah, that's like probably one of the scariest things. It's up to how juicy actors feeling at that moment. And it looked like he could have easily not made it through the middle of that. Guess what? You're about to go over, buddy. You ready? I'm ready. All right, here's the knee. All right, here we go. Do you think they're talking to each other? Definitely. I would be talking to you. And it's like right here, he pauses. Spot it. You see it? I see it. All right, go. I'll see you later tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they got a pad in that thing, right? They, like, they got some... I don't know, man. Thai it's Thailand, bro. I've heard stories that hiring a stuntman is cheaper than renting a pad in Thailand. Oh, my wow. goodness. By the way, Quick little bit of trivia. If you happen to have the DVD release of The Protector, the original US release, and one of the bonus features is a short martial arts film that I made. What? Yeah. I won a contest. Me and my friend Eric Lim won a contest. Awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is from a movie from 1939, directed by John Ford. Um, one of the things I love about these old films, because there's no CG, what you see is what's happening. They do have rear projection, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, Doing this movie. Wow. That's pretty wild. This is actually the inspiration for the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark stunt scene, which is the yeah. same thing. Yeah. Oh, what the? Oh, what? <laughs> Woo. Is he right there? Is he underneath the horse or is he between the two? He's between, between the two. Okay. And that's why he holds on. He lines himself up right there. And what's also funny is like the guy gets shot twice and dies. 
And then the camera stays on him and he thinks he's done with the shot and he gets up at the end of it. He's like, I did it. Oh, and he just starts gosh. getting up. Like, you're supposed to be dead. You're supposed to be dead. Huh? What? You're supposed to be Fine, whatever. <laughs> This is the same guy, by the way, that went under the horses. Same stuff, man. I mean, this is insane, because if you fall, you're (laughs) dead. Yeah. Pardon my French. (laughs) You can get trampled. So the name of the stunt guy was Yakima Knut, and he actually got an honorary Oscar in 1967. So I guess they did stun Oscars a little bit back then. (laughs) Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really cool. I did not know that. Oh! That's like the fall that Dean took on his one wheel last week. (laughs) How do those horses do that? They would have a a, a wire that is connected to the leg Hmm. of the horse. And the horse is kind of, I guess, trained to the extent of which it can be trained (laughs) to be able to take a fall. But see how their their legs are getting pulled Mm -hmm. from under them? Dude, they they, face plant so hard. oh, Oh, it's so bad. Poor horses, man. Like, that horse wasn't like, hey, I'm going to be a stunt horse when I grow up. <laughs> He's able to get back up. Yeah. You can't do that kind of stuff to, to animals anymore. Are they, are they throwing more dirt down right there to, like, pad? <laughs> really? Maybe. Really? Like, soften it? <laughs> like, soften it up? These guys back in the day, these are the dudes that a lot of them can barely walk because they did that kind of stuff. Yeah. But there was also a different tone to when you spoke to a stunt person or dealt with stunt people compared to how it is now. Back in that day, they were the coolest guys on set. They were like, how much do we need to pay you to do this stunt? I heard stories of that. Nowadays, they've made it kind of safer for us. There's no more macho man kind of thing that comes with being a stunt man mm-hmm. that you would think. If you enjoy this show and you want to make sure you don't miss an episode, please consider subscribing. That way you are not at the whims of the algorithm, but you have taken fate into your hands and you will not ever miss another episode of Stuntman React. Guy, what movie is this from? This is from Project A. So Jackie's a cop and he's going in to nab the bad guy, but the hotel's not having it. He's like, you can't come in here. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> man. <laughs> Look at that move. That was cool. <laughs> There's no training for that. You just do that on the day. So it's a scored chair, right? Yeah. So they pre-cut the chair, so it's, it's gonna be way easier to break. break. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that sucks. And that's the fall that you pad up for, and the thing that hits is the thing that's not padded. <laughs> right? Ooh, bam. Ooh. My toes. Like right My here. toes hurt watching this. Put I'm into a skeleton. Oh, wow. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Up, boom! Yes! You thought it was over, Nico? You thought it was over? Oh, is this guy gonna really get justice right here? You can play. Oh, he's throwing the baby powder at him. Oh, fall! Dang! <laughs> Do you think one of these guys broke a rib in this scene? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You think so? I broke a rib watching this scene. <laughs> Well, there's different techniques of how to fall. Jackie actually had a movie called My Stunt. Yes. And he kind of displays every fall that they practice and train. And then once you have, I guess, the blueprints, then you can mess with the shapes and add performance to it, which then makes it look as messy as they're doing it. Like this fall right here is a side fall. So if you're landing like sideways, like somebody swept your legs, you want to distribute that energy in as many places as possible. You don't want it to go to one single point. Mm -hmm. If you were to take a fall and land on your knee, you have 100% of your energy on your knee. But if you were to to land with as much contact as possible, you got 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That. That's fun. That's a back fall. That's an assisted backfall. You see how he's holding him? Boom, his arms oh, go so up. The guy in the bomb's actually catching him, yeah. holding the guy on the top. 
And then, and then how does he not crush his chest? Thanks to Yin Biao, he's spreading his feet out at the, at the point of impact. So he's taking it mostly on the legs, but then letting them come out. If, if like, Nico, if you were to do that to me right now. I would probably break your ribs. I'd be out, dude. Yeah. I would be out. <laughs> Oh. I <laughs> he could have landed on his head. Yeah. He, I think grabbing the chandelier helped him. Because he slowed himself down a little, right? A little bit. But it also looks like it's whipping his legs. Like he lets go just the right moment to not break his neck. Just, and just enough to clear the bar. Also, they could have hit like a little pad. I bet you. They could have. Yeah. I hope. I love how you have all these uh, hotel clerks. They stop and they're like, oh, is he good? The whole stunt team. Ooh. Jerry, are you all right? <laughs> All right, this is it. Oh, this is. This is the move. This is all the baby powder, whole bottle right there. Uh, <laughs> boom, CVS is, no longer has baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing that was told to me by a great stunt man. You want to hit the ground. You don't want the ground to hit you. Mm. He's in his mind like, I'm going to destroy the hell out of that table. I'm going to elbow drop Macho Man Randy Savage <laughs> this table. I'm going through it. Nothing to it, but to do it. And that's how he was able to not hurt himself. Just owned it, man. We have an endless supply of Jackie Chan clips to go through. Uh, <laughs> if you guys have one that you would like for us to react to, we'll get a professional down here. We'll react to it. Leave a comment down below. Are you a fan of John Woo? Oh yeah. No one does it like John Woo. He is to gunfights with Jackie Chan as to martial arts. Yes, he is. Absolutely. He is the beauty, he's the ballet of it. Oh man, look at that. Dude, look at the Is it the candles? These practical effects are top oh, notch. Oh man. man. Pay attention to like how well he intercuts slow motion without slow motion ever being boring. That guy just stepped on his face. <laughs> what? The guy just stepped what? on that dude's face, dude. Oh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> this guy gets iced so hard. Oh, oh. <laughs> like barely broke his fall. And go! <laughs> so why is this one so visceral compared to like the dudes falling off the ledges? Because it's it's like a stop of energy. Dude, it's everything you said not to do in a fall, which is yes. to concentrate all your impact into one point, and that guy just does it. There's no other way, is there? Uh, Jeez. Uh. He he definitely sat there for maybe like five minutes thinking about life. Oh! Oh man. Shooting a blank that close to somebody is Dude, it's really that's, sketchy. That's sketch. Theoretically, a clean blank can kill you. There's still a big pressure bubble that comes yeah. out of the gun. If it hurt the stuntman, if you look closely, you can see that the gun is angled slightly off to the side so that that big burst of pressure from the muzzle flash is more going off to the side of the guy than rather straight into him. It's so oh, close. Yeah. It's right between the gap and his arm, like right I, there. These days, you probably wouldn't be able to do this. Anxiety levels are really high whenever I'm dealing with guns on mm. set. I, I don't know why, but every time I'm just like, okay, I'm not doing anything with this until it's time to do something with it. And other than that, I'd rather you hold it and not me. So uncivilized. Yeah, there's, there's the Hong Kong school of getting shot, which is... Yep. Right? And then there's the Italian, guess, Italian slash classic American school of getting shot, which is... <laughs> All yeah. the muscles tighten up. Oh. Hold it! Oh. Hold it! Turn away and fall. Yeah. <laughs> I've filmed people getting squibbed or you know getting shot up, but I, I've never really been squibbed up myself. Yeah. It's something I'd really like to experience, and I think we should try to execute that for one of these videos. That should definitely happen. Yeah. If you guys would like to see that, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss it when it comes out. I think out. it's somewhere like right there. Yes. Yo, you guys got Ilram here. That yeah. must have been fun. It was awesome. He's so cool. Yeah, Ilram's really nice. Gia, yeah, I just want to give you a little uh, present here, some quarter merch as a thank you for coming out. Oh, um, yeah. We have the motion capture designed crew neck. 
By the way, all this stuff is restocked. Uh, this is restocked. The green screen blanket is restocked. This sold out in like a day. The what? VFX artist t-shirt is restocked. Would you like this? Yeah. Here you go. That's dope. The, uh, the yellow shatter logo on the hoodie. This is reflective, by the way. That's Shine. cool. Would you like this? Sure. Here you go. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> we also have backpacks with the quarter logo. These are really nice backpacks. Oh, and Ren, come here. Come here, Ren. Check out these pants Ren is wearing. Whoa. These joggers. That's right. Stylish joggers, <laughs> back in stock. These also sold out in like a day. Uh, all this stuff is really high quality. No idea how long it'll last. We only order in limited quantities and they tend to sell out in a few days. So if you guys are seeing this video when it's gone live and you want any of this stuff, jump on it right now because it, it goes quick. Um. <laughs> 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 Quarterdigital.store. Link in the description below. Thank you, everybody. So, Guy, thank you so much for joining us. If you guys would like to check out Guy's stuff, uh, follow him, ask him questions, whatever you'd like to do, he's on Instagram at GuyXDaSilva. There's yep. a link in the description below. Um, you can also check him out all over YouTube. The UALA videos, by the way, top class. Hey, thank you guys for having me. Yeah, you bet, yeah, man. Thank, thank you so you. much for coming out. Appreciate it was good you, seeing you. If you guys have any awesome stunts or action scenes that you'd love us to react to, we'll bring in a professional. We'll get them to react to it. We read all the comments. <laughs> Do it. Leave a comment down below. Wait, you guys are calling professionals? You're a professional. You're the pro. What? You're the pro, I'm man. I'm probably like amateur. You're literally Black Panther. <laughs>